When performing a knee series, there can be many variables that determine which views are needed to complete a series. In this particular video, we are going to explore the AP, the oblique, and the lateral. First, let's start with the AP. You will want to have the patient lay down supine on the radiographic table. Next, move your table bucky to a location close to the level of the knee joint. This would be at the foot end of the table. Once you have the patient laying comfortably in the supine position, detent your x-ray tube. While detenting your tube, you will also want to apply a 5 to 7 degree cephalic angle. Once you've applied this angle, you will want to double check to ensure that your central ray matches up with your IR. Now that you've been appropriately detented, you will no longer want to move the x-ray tube. For the AP, your central ray should be directed approximately one half inch fear to the apex of the patella. Also, make sure that the knee is in a true AP position. A true AP position will have the femoral condyles parallel to the IR. Patients typically tend to naturally externally rotate their lower extremities when laying supine, so you may want to look at the foot end too to make sure that they're not externally rotated. When collimating for an AP knee, there should be good tight collimation on the medial and lateral aspects as seen here. When collimating from top to bottom, you should have approximately 3 inches superior and 3 inches inferior of the patella. Next, we are ready for the oblique. The oblique is performed with internal rotation. Moving from the AP position, have the patient internally rotate their leg approximately 45 degrees. This may require the patient to slightly tilt up off the table. If that is to occur, you may also want to include using a support wedge behind the patient's backside. Once again, direct the central ray approximately one half inch distal to the apex of the patella. However, this time, the central ray will enter somewhere around the region of the lateral condyle. This is due to the internal rotation. When properly obliqued 45 degrees, the tibiofibular joint should be opened, as seen in this image here. Also, you will note the location of the patella is quite medial as well. Now, let's roll the patient onto their affected side for the lateral. Once the patient is lying on their hip, you will have to determine placement of the patient's unaffected leg. The goal here is to get the femoral condyles perpendicular to the IR. Depending on patient mobility, you might place the patient's unaffected leg either posterior or anterior as seen here. Keeping the 5 degree cephalic angle, direct the central ray 1 inch distal of the medial epicondyle. Also, ensure that the leg is flexed approximately 20 to 30 degrees. Collimate as demonstrated here in these images. You have now performed a routine 3-view knee series. 